Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful night at Indigo. It is my pleasure to welcome Nora Efron to our stage. Hello. How are you? Hello. The character most like me is Sally. Um, in <laughs> when Harry met Sally. Um, that's, you know, I'm very optimistic yeah. and, and I make waiters unhappy. But almost everything I write has little pieces of yourself, because what else are you going to do? And when Dilly and I did You've Got Mail, we put so much of what we felt about books for kids into that character that Meg Ryan played, because it was the most blissful reading of my life. And I have so many memories of my father taking me on Saturday to Martindale's bookstore on Santa mm -hmm. Monica Boulevard mm -hmm. and saying, you can buy any book. Um, and the Beverly Hills Public Library, where I spent every, every third day of mm -hmm. the summer. When my parents wrote movies, they wrote scripts. And a week later, they, those movies were in production. There were no notes as we now know them. It's way worse if you're just the screenwriter. It's one of the reasons I became a director, is that it insulates you somewhat from notes, because if the director doesn't want to change something, you don't have to. And if you're the director, you don't necessarily have to change it. When I directed my first movie, which, by the way, I made in Toronto and lived here for, for four or five months, I thought, oh, this is the greatest job. This is the most fantastic job. I can't believe I waited this long to do this. I turned 50 when I was directing my first movie. So it was so much fun, and I loved actors, and I loved being in charge of it. Now I look back on that, you know, like what, it's so hard to direct a movie. It's so hard to open a movie. The, the tension, the, the pressure in the cutting room is so unbelievable. But it's still fun. But I think I prefer writing, and I think I love writing because I don't do one kind of writing. You don't know how much of everything depends on the actor, how it's not the script, it's the right actor doing it. And you could go for six actors doing a part and think this is, this is unspeakable, this is the worst part in the world, and then some brilliant actor comes in and nails it and you go, I'm a genius. <laughs> you know? But it's because of the actor and you learn to love actors. And I felt incredibly lucky that that's how I became um, a director was with directors who were open to me and who let me see what actors are. So then when you get to direct, the, you know, one of the greatest actors who ever lived and, and she's that into it, it is a thrilling. I wrote Silkwood and Meryl played Karen Silkwood and then she played some version of me in Heartburn. I thought it was an, a great actress doing doing wonderful work, and I was so happy I got to work with her as a director because there's nobody mm -hmm. like her on the planet. Mm -hmm. And I've never, you know, what she did with Julia Child, what she did with that part, you know, she called me up at one point and she said, I'm just working on how I can be six feet two. I had talked to the effects people and they all said one of the things you cannot do is make someone taller. And she and Ann Roth, the costume designer, built these shoes that were six inches tall. And we did this thing where if there was a long shot of her, you never saw her feet. I only cast short people to work with her. It was probably against some civil rights thing. <laughs> and, and you totally believe she's six feet tall and she's my size. This is generous of you, and we're delighted. And Laura, oh, thank, thank you. you so thank much. You. Just wonderful. Thank you.